Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Ooch, and, of course, we are back again once again. I hope you guys are having a great, fantastic, and a happy Thanksgiving day. That was a lot to say in one little sentence there, but we are here. We are now. We are not live, but, of course, in, in spirit, we are live. I want to get this video out there for you guys because it is something that I did not address that totally slipped my mind because I was like, there's no way I was too into the moment at the time of the recording last night with uh, Brother Uj were on stream talking about um, the le the latest Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 42. And once we were done reviewing it and basically giving our thoughts, we were kind of speculating as what could happen or what things we could maybe expect to come from the Galactic Patrol prisoner arc. But right now, we only have a little bit of information, a little bit of insight on what uh, is to come, really. And that's basically uh, surrounding itself completely around the fact that they need to extract the Dai Kaioshin, the Lord of Lords, out of Majin Buu. And with that in mind, I thought to myself, why... Did I not say this last night? Because I feel like this is super important and I'm surprised that I'm not really seeing a lot of people talking about it online. Um, I think it's something that a lot of people might have forgotten when it happened. It's been only a day since the official um, chapter came out, so maybe not that many people read it. But again, this is Dragon Ball Super, so the fandom is pretty big. And oh, shout outs to the Macy Day Parade. Guys, today was a very important and historic day. So a huge shout out. We had Goku on and his own float in the Macy Day Parade today during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, of course. But we're going to get right into this, the topic at hand. This is potentially the return of Majin Buu as we know him as Kid Buu, okay? So I want to obviously talk about the importance here that... Um, the 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 whole the whole idea behind this mission that they're trying to fulfill so they're trying to recapture this prisoner that escaped the galactic prison which is this guy so so far the goat man all right we don't have a name for him yet but i'm i'm thinking the within the next chapter we might at least see him we might get a name so that we can stop calling him goat man but this is basically the prisoner right here and they, for whatever reason, need the powers of the Diokaishin. So you might ask, why would they need this guy? So my thing is, if we look back into the lore and to the story of, you know, Dragon Ball Z at the time, the Daikaioshin, or otherwise known as the Supreme Grand Kai. So they have the Kais and they have the Supreme Kais. This is the Supreme Grand Kai. This guy is, the he is basically oversees all the other Kais, okay? And as you can tell, he basically gets, or Majin Buu, I should say, the fat one that we're used to seeing lately, uh, that's where he gets his look from. He gets his looks from the Supreme Grand Kai. And if you guys are confused as to how we could be getting Kid Buu, because obviously this is the whole point of the video here, the Grand, the Supreme Grand Kai is needed in order to recapture um, this new villain, or if he's a villain or not, just a new prisoner, or this prisoner that escaped the uh, Galactic Patrol prison. Um, we don't know exactly why we would need him, but of course, since he is, you know, the Supreme Grand Kai, you would imagine that he is super strong and um, obviously, being that he is the supreme Grand Kai, I don't know how many times I have to say that for, for everyone to understand. But the whole entire thing here is that if, the, like, the fact that they need him, and if they do manage to extract um, the Lord of Lords, the Supreme Grand Kai, out of Majin Buu, what would I would imagine happen if we're going to stick to our continuity here is that. Kid Buu will resur resurface because this is the original Kid Buu. So for a quick um, update, not really an update, but a refresher, I should say, if you guys uh, forgot how, you know, all these Boos came to be, just a quick little... Um, quick little recap here not gonna go too into it because i don't want to deviate too much into it but kid buu as we know him obviously the original majin buu 
um, was going along fighting all these other Kais, and then he stumbled upon the Supreme Grand Kai. The Supreme Gr- Grand Kai saved what we know now as uh, the Supreme Kai of the East, and then he ended up absorbing the Supreme Grand Kai. But because of the Supreme Grand Kai being as strong as he was, and you know being such a good-willed, good-hearted um, individual, his influence. Uh, turned what we knew, what we know as Kid Boo, into the fat and quote unquote good Boo that we know to this day. And of course, um, you know this is the Boo that we uh, see befriending Hercule, and Hercule kind of shows him like you know the good side of things and this and that, basically showing us that this boo, this Boo is more pure um, for good than he is evil. I mean, he's mis- he's misdirected at first when he's with, uh, with, uh, Bobbity, but that's totally besides the point here. So then, um, if you remember, there's a part in Dragon Ball Z where Boo literally, uh, totally, ira- I want to, I don't want to say erases, but he eliminates all of the pure evil out of him, out of his inner being. And that, that, whole entire evil that was within him basically uh becomes this skinny evil boo so it's like it's like the 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 whole embodiment of that evil that was lying within him became you know a, a physical being and that boo absorbed this fat boo which then became known as super boo now um later uh, later on of course you know later in you know, the the series of z we see Super Boo absorb Gotenks, we see him absorb uh, Piccolo, Gohan, even uh, Vegito at some point. Until Goku and Vegeta manage to defuse within Super Boo, um, and then uh, they they take out the Majin Boo that was out that was within that Boo, and because of that, it turned uh, that Boo in back into its original form as kid boo so because of the um the happenings with the fat boo uh basically erase or i will not keep saying erasing but removing of the pure evil in him that is how there were two boos um from that point forward so that's how there was a pure good and a pure evil um if you will um, and that's why it can get a little confusing. Now, the whole point, uh, that's pretty much the whole story there. But if we go look now at the at what's to come in the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc, if they extract the Dai Kaioshin out of Fat Boo, then we will definitely most likely see that Boo, you know, return to his Kid Boo state. Because he doesn't have the Dai Kaioshin influence in him anymore. Now, of course, I'd imagine at some point, there's going to be a point where the Dai Kaioshin, if he does emerge, if they do end up using him um, to recapture this villain or person, the goat man, this guy right here. If they do manage to get what they want out of him, maybe they'll, you know, the Dai Kaioshin will realize, oh, like I've been dormant within... Uh, Majin Buu, and this is probably best for you know the entire universe and the world you know to 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 be at a more peaceful state so that way you know there won't ever be any kind of mishap or whatever like there won't be any any other evil Majin Buu out there so that's if that is entirely if the Dai Kaioshin is taken out. The Dai Kaioshin is taken out. Fat Boo, it's a wrap. Kid Boo's back again once again. Kid Boo's gonna be in Dragon Ball Super. And if and if Kid Boo's in Dragon Ball Super, then that is wild. And I feel bad for Cell fans even more. <laughs> I I feel bad for Cell fans even more, guys. But again, uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys. This has obviously been. A quick little theory and speculation um, to look forward to potentially seeing in the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc. Um, Again, we still don't know all the details. They kind of just set up the foreground for us here with this new arc. Um, And even on the website, they didn't even show this image of Goatman. This is literally taken off of the website, the Japanese website. And this is, you know, with the power of Photoshop, you know, you, you brighten up uh, the overall image and then you get you get to see a little bit more color. So 
Um, who who knows, man? I'm hoping that we do at least find out this guy's name and find out, you know, why they would need someone as strong as the Dai Kaioshin to recapture him back to just put him right back into the jail. I mean, people are speculating and you know, rumors are floating around that this guy might end up being like a fallen god of destruction or something like that, and that's why they 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 they're keeping him in this special prison, but. Who's to say? We don't know yet. Um, but that has been my theory. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If I made any kind of sense. If there's anything you want to go over. Or anything like that. If you guys are still confused about the whole Majin Buu. Like, you know, good, evil, that and stuff. Literally, just Google it. It's an easy, uh, quick search. And actually, you can go at and and watch the episode titled... Um, end of earth in dragon ball z that's episode 277 in season nine if you don't have a funimation now account and if you want to watch it support your boy obviously go ahead and make a free funimation now account all the info is in the description below thanks again for watching hope you guys have a great one take care of yourselves enjoy your, your thanksgiving if you're celebrating and i'll see you guys next time